welcome to the max. Aiden's finishing up on his chores. We're fixing to start a new chore that we really didn't intend to have for today, but we're gonna bring it along for the vlog today. I wanna show you how good the pigs have done. Now, if you remember, I just showed you this like three days ago. Look at that. Now, they've taken all the, the stuff that was good, beat it into the ground, cleaned up all the mess that was on there. Look at that. All the old turnips are gone, all the old grass is gone right through there. And the rows are undisturbed. But before they disturb the rows, we're gonna move them again. But man, I just can't get over how good this looks. Very pleased with it. So wasn't intentional to move them today. So they've been on right here. If you remember last vlog, they were right here. Then they've moved there. So we're gonna actually go ahead and move them all the way back down here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move them there. I thought about moving them right here, but I might as well just move them back down here. Go and start on the garden again. Um, the chickens, we're gonna move the chickens as well. Uh, I don't know where I really want to put the chickens. I might put them behind the cows. Um, there's not a lot of you know, fly larvae and things like that right now because it's winter, so I don't really care to do that. But I have another just grass spot over here, um, just between where that where the sheep paddock is and where all this grass here is. I may just put them right there. It's just kind of a dead space we don't really use for anything else. So. That might be what I do. I, I'm gonna probably take this net, which is the bigger permaculture net, and give to the pigs, and take the smaller one and give to the chicken. So I think we're gonna do that today. It's not something I really plan to do, but I think we're gonna go and do it. So hope you are ready for the day. Uh, these salad straps can't say enough good things about them. Um, if you have any questions, drop them below, and I'll answer as much as I can. But we love them, and they're they're doing a great job. So. Let's go ahead and get started for the day. It's really a late afternoon, but we're going to go ahead and try to knock out what we can. Okay, now the fun begins. We've got the mobile chicken coop set up and ready. We're gonna put some more hay in it and things like that. Uh, but we've got it ready to where we're gonna put some feed under it, attract all those chickens this way, and try to get that net back around them without having to chase chickens all day. Like I said, I'm doing this. I'm trying to fix their layer box. I'm doing this really kind of late, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So we've got this here. I thought about moving the pigs first, but I really don't have an extra net to, to put them in until. So uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move the chickens and I hate to use this net because this net's big. And I'd rather have it for the pigs, but I don't know. It's always one of those things to catch one to. One thing, one thing or the other, I gotta have either pigs running wild or chickens running wild. Well, it's a lot easier to check, catch, catch uh, chickens. However, pigs will come to food, so dilemmas well, let's think about it and let's uh go and get it moved okay so you see underneath those salish parts the beds are in great shape very soft very good quality soil but you see a lot of this chop and drop over those years still kind of thick so what i want to do is bring the pigs in here they'll disrupt any insect and of course in the fresh grass there's a little grass like right there a little piece of grass They'll get rid of that and then also break all this stuff down for me. See, this one wasn't covered. It was just a row we didn't use last year. It was kind of like a barrier row. So we're going to let them kill that up too. See how good that looks. So we're going to pull this off and let them go to town on this while the chickens work on a new spot they're going to make. Okay. Okay, we'll see if I made the right decision. I undid the chickens, let them free range for a little bit. Wish they're used to being by their coops. I can run them that way. Go ahead and build this net over this part. And then that way I can move the pigs first, get them in. Then I'll, we'll push the chickens back. So let's get this uh, finished so that way we can wrap up all these animals. Got this little net up, not tight yet. 
But we gotta get the pigs in there so these chickens won't just run everywhere. Cause it's getting like, it's about six o'clock or so. Come on, chicks. Come on, chickens. Go back your way. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> I really don't know. Let's see if we can run them towards their house while Aiden gets the, the hogs. Come on. You're going the wrong way, dude. There you go. And they're off. Five pigs following one pig. Do you walk your pigs? All right, wrong way. Go on in there and dump it in the middle. And we'll run them in. Shake the bucket again. Fix. 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 Hey, pigs. There you go. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Hey, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? To get away from the pig. <laughs> okay, so we've got the pig fence up. Pigs are in it. Uh, the actual chickens are hanging out in the grass where they've got to go. So we're going to go ahead and get this pen, which is the smaller one. Premier one is the smaller chicken net. I think it's 164. That one's 200. So it's a little bit bigger. So it gives us a little bit more room to work the pigs in the garden. So chickens, this will be plenty big enough. So we're going to go and get it moved. You see it's getting dark on me. So we're going to try to hurry this up and uh, see what we can do. Keep shaking it. Where's all their feet at? Come on, chick chicks. All right, we got one moving in. Two, three, four, five, six. There's nothing prettier than a chicken on fresh grass, is it? It's pretty to me. Look. Spike, you come to get you some chicken? Look, the rooster don't like Spike, does he? Make them go towards the coop. Well, we'll herd them in and go ahead and wrap this uh, rest of this chicken wire around. how great they've done right there absolutely picturesque we'll tarp this all right it's about six o'clock or so so we got done a little bit quicker than I thought. Or actually, it took it longer than I thought, and then looked up and I thought it was a little bit later, but it's only six, so it didn't, it wasn't too bad. So, we've got the net moved here, tightened up. All the chickens are in. You hear it clicking and showing that it is ready to rock. Got new bedding, new pine shaving in the uh, coop. They've got a few eggs in there. We'll let Aiden get those tomorrow because it's getting so late and he's already collected for today. So, we've got those done. It actually worked out a little bit better than I thought when it comes to moving the chickens. I just let them free range and they did very well. 
So now we've got the hogs hooked up, ready to go. We've got water ran to them all. We've got electrical run to them all. So it's been a long afternoon, but really, really satisfied with what we got done. Uh, what, this was not the anticipation of the plan to get done. Uh, but look at this, look how nice, look at all the land they've got. They've been running around. So they're just happy pigs. Happy pigs means happy bacon. So it's good that they're getting that good aerobic activity, eating fresh greens, fresh protein insects. So they're happy, I'm happy. And they're gonna make me real happy one day when we uh, make them bacon. So can y'all say hey? They're just digging everywhere. That's what I want. All right, so today is over. We're just to move the cows for the last day, or for the last chore of the day. We've got everything pretty much done other than a little cleaning. I gotta put some more silage tarps on. Uh, but hey, it's coming. Everything's going good. We're getting full blown garden season. We planted some more broccoli and lettuce today, which uh, I don't think we vlogged just because <sighs> so much trying to get done. So, but all in all, a great day. We hope you've enjoyed the day with us. If you like what you see, if you like hanging out with the Max, our kids are usually hanging out too, but they've called it a day, so I'm wrapping it up for the night. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for just being faithful to commenting and giving us thumbs up. It does mean a lot. Uh, share us with your friends. We're trying to grow our show, so hopefully our channel will keep on growing and keep on helping someone and someone helping us at the same time. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.